All right, folks, today I want to talk about something that happened to me when I was a young man just working my way into the comedy clubs. I was like barely 18 years old and uh, I had booked a road tour, like my first road tour, and the first stop was a place called Hilarities Comedy Club in Cleveland, Ohio, where I worked with this guy named Ron Schock. Ron Schock was uh, friends with... Um, Bill Hicks and they would do the Southern Circuit together a lot you know these clubs down in Texas and Alabama the South you know and uh, Ron Schock was a funny guy you might not have heard of him you might have towards the end of his career he started really getting Showtime specials and stuff though but but most of his career he was like this old like legendary figure in comedy you know if you worked with Ron Schock you always had a funny story well I have a couple funny Ron Schock stories I want to tell you may he rest in peace um, he was very nice to me by the way it was my first week on the road I was the host and uh, he couldn't have been nicer but he was also funny and a little bit of a ball buster one night I was sitting there looking in my notebook writing down all the jokes I was gonna do that night and putting them in order and trying to figure out how I can make them funny and you know, I'm working hard, and Ron Schock walks in, and he sees me looking in my notebook, and he says, Hey, uh, Jason, what are you doing? I said, oh, just getting ready for the show. Uh, okay, well, you go ahead and look in that there comedy notebook. I'm going to smoke a big fat joint, and at the end of the night, we'll see who is funnier. And uh, at the end of the night, he was definitely funnier. <laughs> But I just thought that was funny. What a different approach he had to comedy than, than me at the time. And, uh, you know, he was such a veteran. He didn't need to look in a notebook. He had, a, he had like six hours of material at that point, he told me. So I was like, okay. And then another night, uh, he was on stage. And this is one of my favorite jokes from Ron Schock. He was talking about how when he was in the Army, they were doing roll call. And uh, they would call you by your last name first and your first name last. So they'd say, Shock, Ronald, and I'd have to step forward. And he said, there was a guy named Peter Eaton and his platoon. And the sergeant comes out and he says, who's Eaton Peter? And everybody kind of looks at each other, huh? And they're like, what? And he's like, who's Eaton Peter? Peter, all these guys are looking around, oh my gosh, this, what, what, what? And then the, nobody steps forward, so the drill sergeant gets really pissed, and he's like, all right, I want to know who's eating Peter, and I want to know right now. Six guys stepped forward. <laughs> That's a fucking great joke. Uh, I think it was a true story, too. Ron Schock was incredible. There's all kinds of stuff floating around on YouTube. Just look up Ron Schock, S-H-O-C-K, and you'll see all kinds of funny stuff. Uh, but rest in peace, Ron Schock. I was just thinking about him today um, because I've been thinking about comedy and just my life and some of the people I met. And he was definitely an interesting character. I think you, you would appreciate him. So look him up, Ron Schock.